Hi, good day students. It's Mr. Martinez again and welcome to lesson number six. Today I'm going to be teaching you about primary colors. What do we mean by primary colors? First of all, the word primary means first in order or first in line. Okay? So basically, um, you and I, we cannot make or manufacture colors, right? Like these colors here were made in a paint factory, okay? So the primary colors would be, for instance, red, yellow, and blue, right? Because we cannot make those ourselves, right? We can't mix anything to make these colors, nor black, nor white. However, if I take yellow and I mix it with blue, I will get green. So green is not a primary color, right? So for now, the primary colors are red, yellow, blue, and I'm going to include black and white as well because neither you or I can mix a color to make these. All right, so here's what we're going to do. These are our colors here. And you will take your red and make a circle and just color it in. All right, like that. So that's your red. And then we're going to go right next to it with your yellow circle. All right, so you get accustomed to that. And then we will go with a blue. Right. right now I'm gonna at the side here I'm gonna put black because that's one of the most important now they say technically black is not a color and they say they say technically white is not a color as well right scientists have said that white is light light coming from the sun through space and in the light there are all the different colors that makes white <clears throat> and black they say is void of light so it's darkness right however as an artist I use black and white to paint with and I know that I cannot use any other colors to mix them so therefore I personally include them as primary colors colors that cannot be mixed to make however there is a way to make red but it's a kind of long way and I may explain that later right so these are your primary colors so put down red red yellow and blue and then black and white okay now, here I'm going to write secondary colors. Okay. Wow, what could I mean by secondary colors now? So, let's see. If I mix If I mix red and yellow, so therefore, let me put down the yellow first here. That's my yellow. And then I, then I take red on top of it. What do I get? 
I get orange. Orange, right? So by mixing red and yellow, I get orange. So orange is my secondary color from these two primary colors, right? So here we go again. I'm going to put down the yellow first. Put down my yellow circle first. Right? And if I mix blue with the yellow now, so I'm going to put the blue on top of the yellow very lightly because blue is a dominant color. It's a very powerful color. Right? Right. I get green. I get green. So I'm going to put green. All right? So by mixing blue and yellow, we get green. And that is a secondary color. Right? Now, I'm going to put red here. Right? Now, notice that I always put my lighter colors down first. Right? Because if you put the darker colors down, the light, uh, lighter one may not show up on it. Now I'm going to take blue and put on top of the red very lightly because the blue is a very powerful color. Right. Equal strength. Right. And this color is called violet. It's like a family to the purple. All right. So by mixing blue and red, I get violet. All right. So right now we've mixed red and yellow, gives you orange, and then yellow and blue gives you green, and then blue and red gives you violet. Okay. So these are the three secondary colors that we have here. So down here now, I'm going to mark tertiary colors. What do I mean by tertiary colors, right? We have primary colors, which means one or the first, secondary colors, which means the second set, and tertiary, which is close to three, isn't it? It means three colors or three sets of mixes, all right? So now, if I, let's say, I put back my orange now, so I put some orange here, and I'm gonna mix the green with the orange, I get a light brown. Okay. So now, um, I'm going to mix the green. with the violet. So I'm going to put my red on top of the green. Now green, green and red gives you brown. Right? Green and red will give you brown. Right? So basically we're looking at a primary color with a secondary color is going to give you brown. So I'm going to mark that down one time. Green and red gives you brown. So let's go back here again now. Green and let's go back and make the violet 
add the red on top of the brown here, the green. I then put a little bit of blue. Right. And what do we have? This is called teal, teal green. Teal green, right? So that's that's mixing violet with green. All right. So we mix orange with green. We mix violet with green. All right. Let's see what happens when you mix violet with orange. So this is orange, and then I come with the red now on top of the orange. Right, which makes the orange a lot deeper and then I come in the blue now right. yeah sort of um, metallic blue all right So these are some of the things I want you to practice, right? By experimenting with different colors and mixing them together, right? So we have the primary colors, we have the secondary colors, and we have the tertiary colors. Tertiary colors are being mixed from the orange, green, and violet stuff, right? So now let's do the spectrum of colors, right? Let's do the spectrum of colors. So start off with red right. and right next to it orange right now these are families they're all related and then you come down next to that with yellow right where is it where are you? Looking for those colours. Ask them to find them. We need them. Right. Then green. And a lighter green. Then a lovely turquoise or light blue, then a dark blue, and then now we come into your purples. And then bring in your black. Alright? So today we're trying to learn about colors and how you can mix them and what you will get. Alright? So do that for me and play around with colors, right? Um, you can do like this as well, what we call cross hatching. Like that, and come with this. Cross like that. Come in a nice yellow this way. Okay. And maybe a red vertically down. So do a few colors like that by using cross hatching and see how many color variations you could get. Okay, so let's see what you come up with. All right, and do enjoy the exercise. Bye bye.